Hey guys, today I want to share with you how I make my taste safe sensory bins. And if you don't already have a bin on hand, I actually picked this up from Target. It was $2. It's really good quality and the lid snaps on, so it works perfect for this project. I went ahead and dug out some little bugs and insects. If you don't already know, I have three boys, so we always have some sort of little creepy crawly plastic toy. <laughs> I use pom-poms and um, they got this little magnifying glass from their Valentine's box, but if you don't already have one, then you can pick some up from the dollar store. I also use some Easter grass. Um, I, it shows that I put the whole thing in here, but I pulled about half of it out. So it only took about half of the bag. The bag was $3. If you don't wanna buy any Easter grass, then you could just shred up some paper and that would work perfect. Place all your little creepy crawlies in there, kind of hide them under so they have to kind of dig for them and try to get them out with their tweezers. I also use a pine cone that we found outside. Just make sure it doesn't have any of the little sharp points on it. Some rocks. And I also had some acorns, so I threw those in there. And that's it, you're done. That was easy. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to make some taste safe dirt for a construction type box. You need one cup flour, one cup of used coffee grounds, and half a cup of salt, one fourth a cup of steel cut oats. You want to use steel cut oats, that way it doesn't absorb the water as well as like a, a quick oat would. You don't have to add the water. One fourth a cup of water though will make it more to where you can like mold the dirt a little bit and they could build little hills or something with it. And there's my helper. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna put your dirt in there, spread it all out. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Honestly, as soon as they start playing in there, they're gonna move everything around anyway. So don't worry about that too much. I used some black beans. Um, pencil beans more look more like rocks, but this is just what I had on hand. And you know, they're gonna use their imagination. I also had some rice from a previous sensory box, so we like to reuse our items. And some cars that I found in their toy box, little construction themed cars. We also had some little construction cones and roadblock signs on hand. If you don't have these i'm sure you could like find some at the dollar store or order them on amazon if not just get creative and just use what you have Alright guys, so for our third and final bin, I chose to use these little Finding Nemo characters and my Taste Safe Kinetic Sand. If you don't know how to make this kind of kinetic sand, then I actually have a video that I made previously. I'll link it in the description box below. Check that out. Let me know if you uh, try it. I wanted to add a little something more, so I'm pulling out some of that green grass that we used earlier in our bug bin. And I'm just gonna cut that up and add it in to make it kind of look like it was either a seaweed or kelp in the water, just to give it a little something extra. Here, I'm just adding more of that Taste Safe Kinetic Sand. It's just a different color and making it look like it's a beach. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. As soon as the kids open this up, I'm pretty sure all the blue and all the sand is gonna be mixed together and it looks something a mess, but that's the whole point for them to get in and get their hands dirty. Spread your characters all around. And unfortunately, the only out of water character I had on hand was this little squirt um, sea turtle. So I went outside and found some sticks to kind of make it look like washed up driftwood. And we also had some of these seashells on hand. I think I got these at the dollar store probably five years ago. I don't know, I'm sure they still have them. And of course, a little magnifying glass, and that is it. All done. All 
All right guys, those are our three taste safe sensory bins. If you make these, let me know in the comments below. Send me a picture. Here are my three boys. I have a nine year old, a four year old, and a one year old. And if I'm trying to keep them off screens, I will tell them to come get out their sensory bins. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.